Slavs the Mongols. Slavs Mongols. That's a hard matchup. I think late game I have to get the Hab SO is my only chance slowly. Or on Mass Boyers slash Mass Boyers. Yeah. Mihai. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will control the game. I mean, has adapting guys. I coached them once. Slap the two hours you ring this out of him. Yeah, this matchup is very hard though. It's one of, in my opinion, the best matchups for Mongols that they can ask for. Magula just get way too much value. It's so hard to deal with. For every Magula he makes, it costs like what, like 120 res. I have to spend probably like 250 res to deal with it. Worth of skirms and stuff. Like I'm losing like five skirms for Magula, most likely in late game. And that's if I'm even able to trade. Sometimes you're just not even able to. Because there's Hussars in your face and whatnot. It's really not as good as I thought it would. Probably take that with line next. Look at that boar. I don't think Cavalier is an option for me this game. Cavalier dies way too hard to Mangadai. It also kind of saps your gold. I think I only go Cavalier if I have got a big massive knight in castle. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to play towards that. I'm going to probably play towards more like Siege, Skirm, and Castle. Set up that big boom. I'm actually forgetting a house here, my bad. Should be okay, though. Yeah, actually, didn't grab those uh, resources. Kind of help him out here a little bit. Couldn't resist the goat, the llama. And take like, back. My second boar. Take a look at that. My yellow. I lost to Kabosh yesterday. I lost to Mister Yo twice yesterday. I lost once at Kabash at night and then Mr. Yo before the show match once. I don't know who else though. Hmm. And I believe it's Vincent Us Imperium. I think I play against him this Friday, my man. But I think we're gonna probably play privately and then it will be casted later. I'm not 100% though. Also, he's Mongols. I'm probably going to play a defensive build here. Uh, it might just be a defensive scout build. We'll see. I don't know how many people are following Unus Imperium. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty fun tournament. Let's do that. Hmm. I lost one to Vivi as well, not yesterday, but the day before. That's true.
That's the way it goes though, ups and downs. Oh wow, the fact that he found me there is crazy. We just have to fight him. I can't run. I guess I was showing too much, yeah. That's, that's not that crazy after all. Should have realized that that was a possibility. I was very careless and I got punished, nice. <laughs> The thing about Unis Imperium as attorney, uh, every player has only one civilization uh, throughout the entire stage, uh, throughout every stage of the tournament, pretty much. Really fun. Cool, cool concept. <clears throat> I'm a grinder rooster. It's a western. Let's see that. I think I saw... Was that an archer that I saw there? I think that was an archer. If it's an archer, I'll just tower, but it might be a spear as well. <clears throat> Which did I pick for the tournament? I have Turks. Oh, he's going south, kill him a spear. Keep the good work up and hope you enjoy Argentina the time you stay. Should have already made this spear to be honest. Thanks, buddy. I lose one vill here, but that's fine. Completely fine. He's he's going super hyper aggressive here and he's gonna kill one vill. What I'm gonna do is just look to stabilize here against the Mongols. And Look to bounce back or attack back after I deal with all the pressure that he's sending my way. I can't feel my scout there back, so which is really bad. There's almost out. My map is really insane though. Yeah, I can basically full wall the whole thing. Quite fast. Already fully walled, and I'm gonna waste no time on my scouts now and just straight up run across the map. I'm also gonna go across the map with my spearmen now as well, so I need to value that way. So the spears I made at home got me valued defensively, and hopefully it will find me value offensively as well. <clears throat> What's up, unique void? Keep the work, good work. Hope you enjoy this time in Argentina. We will. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally would do the same. <laughs> what do you think of the build, Larry? Full walls, feeling good. Some scouts. Some scouts, some farms. When's the wheel by the timing is the question? Well, if, you, if you're a heart, then right now. <laughs> we kill that spear, we kill those scouts later. I lost one build, but I feel like I'm still fine. I'll just hit the stable, force him, yeah, force him to make more spears. Like, it's kind of a mistake for him to make spears here, honestly. I don't have enough scouts to really force damage. The only reason he wants spears is if I go full scouts with tower forward, and I don't think I'm doing that. Although I could have done that, because he's got gold there and these two are exposed, so that would have been a good play. Does that do anything though? You just DC back. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of bad, because against Mongols, if I try and do like some all-in feudal, they're just going to get up way, way faster to the castle than generic subs. But I did force him to make two spears. I'm pretty happy about that now. Like, that's kind of a mistake, though. I think, I think more experienced players would realize that I'm not really threatening anything, and they wouldn't want to make spears. A unit that doesn't scale well takes like 60 res a piece. It's not really worth it. Is that an angel on my shoulder? <laughs> Cringe. No, he called it an angel. If you didn't realize. Nice. 
<laughs> we care, by the way. Let's just cut them out, whatever. Nothing to be done. Andre, thanks for the raid, buddy. A very good stream. You're welcome, welcome. Ah, kind of messed up the macro a little bit. Slavic farmers, man, they go crazy. Surely we have enough? Nope. The real way. Alright. <clears throat> now I have a choice between booming and pressuring, but I think booming is just way better. Uh, it's tricky though, because if you boom versus Mongols, chances are you might just die. Is it better? Yeah, I'm not Spear sure. Spear Siege, man. Spear Siege? Of Night Siege, why? Why Spears? Oh, obviously you can get the Siege Virtual forward. For the cavalry! <laughs> Uh, I think Night Siege Monk is better. Yeah, it's way too late though. Alright, I'll go Spears, whatever. I'll try that out. Like... <laughs> Got him! <laughs> <laughs> Got him no! Why would we fall behind Slavs Mongols in a booming game? We'd actually pull ahead in the economy, but our late game is so much worse than them, so we don't want to play that. That's the idea. Good question though, yeah, we, we, we would actually pull ahead. You're right. But it's not enough for us. Nice, to get a scout there. I can't even try a double Steve Roshaw play, because I, I, I want to push this fast. I think it's worth He's got a forward gold. I can go double siege Scorpion um, Ma uh, Mangonel really fast. Sounds like ass. What do you know? You've never made a sports siege rush in your life and won with it. It's Raider McLaren's man. Yeah. You found me! Yeah, he should be faster as Mongols, probably. I, I was even later. Like, I, I had idle time. Really strange. He lost all! <laughs> oh, it's looking at the TCs now, like. Nah, I wanna, I wanna push it out. Making no see, chat to TC, he's a booby I wanna go for the, I wanna commit to the push here. Now with the double siege rush up, I should be able to push that. I'm gonna have double the mega though. One more, Yeah, but as time goes on. Was that second monastery? Nothing. No <laughs> one got sniped as soon as he came out. Oh, this is terrible, man. Sublime discounts with all this. Literally all, every unit I'm making. No, I'm assuming they're not pushed like this. Baited! I see, just so stupid, actually. <laughs> it doesn't work. I think one workshop in Wild Booming is good. Not all in, though. You get cheaper siege, so. And Federico. Oh, yeah. Another monk bites the dust. Oh no, it's fine. <laughs> Another pike, though. I mean. Oh wow. 
This is terrible. Oh. GG! Ne literally never followed the like Cinder's rats like I fell for you the first time. Listen to little To Larry a little Suddenly you're all in with zero you can't We do have upgrades though, we're just on the build. Or an eco. Another one? What? What happened? What? That British is supposed to kill three Megalas right there. I saw a shot there, no? Where are stones? Oh damn, Paisa useless. So it's literally my least favorite unit in the game, it's Ashix. How is it insane? Pikes are garbage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how do, we how do we end up here is the question. <laughs> right, okay, we're just trying to get you more games. Time to reboom. Surely, it's gonna work. We killed the workshop. <clears throat> Our main target is done. The best part is my strat of Monk Siege huh. been, uh, How is like, it going? Knight Siege would have been way better than this. Way better. Who would have been though? He just snipes all your Siege or Monks. Your step yeah. Gets in, gets out. Knights are so much better though, like long term. We <laughs> planted the seed. I'll take it, honestly. This is the second watch is a mistake because if he just does full army, you have an army to defend your seed, right? It's an M grant and you do. Alright, let's go. Damage has been done here. We've had the impact of the game already. Take those. Huh? Both my sea shop is going down, it's kind of bad because I actually, actually have to continue pushing this somehow. Another monastery, maybe a redemption monk push. Another one? We have to chat to push, there's no way we were winning without pushing here. Nah. Too late for that. Oh, no conversions. Damn. She could have gotten one for sure there, but it's fine. I got zero conversions there? What is this, man? Oh my god. This game's actually depressing. I have to I have to continue pushing, like I have no options. It's the best thing I can do. It's terrible, but it's the best thing I can do. For a castle, that's nice. Oh, that's value. First value of the day. I 
Tony would be nice, but I don't think I can afford that. Oh, GG. That castle's annoying. Counter castle, man. I'm gonna have to go to his base, actually. Best thing I can do. They have to be some nice conversions on this manga, though. though. Like, some nice conversions. Pike's at home to defend because he's likely gonna raid me. I mean, he probably should just send everything back, but he's gonna go for the raid, yeah. But he, he should definitely just send everything back, yeah. He thought of it as well. Well, he's not gonna defend. He's not gonna defend it, but it's not gonna do much either, right? Could just kill you at home and work. Yeah, maybe killing me at home it would be nice as well. No. I converted two step answers though. No, just one actually. <laughs> With all my monks. Windows though. Yeah, awesome. Nah, it's completely, it's like that. It's completely over anyways. I have no options here besides continuing to. Fast him? Nah, no way. It all has to be all in castle. Unless. Traps, monks, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I could try to fast them. I'll try that. Bye. Bye, bye. Ciao. My bills do two damage, I can kill that guy. I think he's already up him though. Yeah, if you want my honest opinion. Yo, it's man, yo, what's up? Let's get through into bits, brother. <coughs> brother. <laughs> I know you're in Turkey, by the way, or I know you're Turkish. Uh, I hope you're not affected too much by the earthquakes, man. Very sad news there. Very, very sad news. I heard you guys got hit with another earthquake as well, which is just surreal. I guess I should make some defensive monks as well. I'm gonna have to buy some stone for a castle. That was actually not the worst fight ever. Now I have Mega that I can raid him with. Now this could be the craziest comeback we've done in a while. I think we lose though. I think that's terrible. 
Oh, I got three conversions actually. Got lucky there. What can a little luck get me here? It's not a good trade. It's one mega there. Not enough. Oh, that's too much. The pikes are useless. Why is he still not imp though? Hmm. That's a little suspicious. Too many mistakes, man. I don't. I don't think I even need to overreact to that. With the villas, I don't, I don't think I need to pull the villas like that. There's a lot of investment from him though still. These boyers will get me value. Converting bills is really good for me. Not only does it take one away from him, but it gives one to me. Which is absolutely massive, of course.
I need to land these shots. I'm not gonna make it. Have to banish it. Ha, oh, I lost all those. I like a raid right there that I got. Okay, I think I need to go for this one. We dragged that on a very long time. I actually played a pretty good comeback there, but he didn't give me the chance. GG well played. The push did not work out, go figure. Yeah, this seems to be leader, leader was a great mistake. To be fair, I didn't do exactly what he wanted. He wanted just a small push into like a boom. But I don't really like that though, because I think you just open yourself up to getting out microed and then you lose the full like mobility of the map. I think there's good players that would never really work out. Knights and Siege would have been much better to put pressure and it would be able to easily follow up with a boom as well while keeping with the mobility in the castle age. We actually took his uh, like his stone, his gold, so we were like making decent plays, but I just messed up too many fights as well, GG. But yeah, I messed up a lot of fights as well, so like th there was a chance for a comeback, but I had to play it a lot better.